Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, sir, for giving me this opportunity yet again. Uh, you know how much I like to come uh, to your institution in online form and just deliver the lectures. Uh, I wanted to deliver also on the 26th January, but something happened and I could not have, uh, I was not able to do it. So this time, a uh, little late, but I, I think and I hope that you all will uh, like the topic. It's a very a uh, prominent topic also very sensitive topic for few people so uh, with your permission can can i begin uh, okay so i'll be sharing uh, the ppt if it is okay sir Okay. Uh, so first of all, I would like to ask all of you, just a second, it is, not visible to me on the screen, let me just do it again. So the screen is not changing. Can you see this? Yes, I am playing, sir, but this is not, I'm not able to see it change. Okay, just a second, sir. I'll share it. Uh, sir, I'll just share with you because I've included so many pictures so that uh, people can understand better. So I wanted them to. Just a second, sir. Uh, okay, sir, so just give me one minute. Yes, sir. I check. Till this technical glitch is being resolved. Yeah, yeah, yes. Please, sir. Uh, till sir is uh, doing the needful, let's just start with the topic. I would like to make it as interactive as possible and um, it is a sensitive topic for some. So I expect uh, highest level of EQ here and some maturity as well. I hope uh, that uh, you will take the topic as it is and uh, we'll start with the term itself. I don't know how much of you, how many of you, sorry, are um, aware of this term cure. Can you tell me it's not cured? 
it's quill. Anyone here knows about queer theory? Can you tell me in comment box or you can also unmute yourself? See, uh, I thought so. Actually, this is uh, not a very well-known term. You might uh, know better the term gay. It's actually a synonymous for this term gay and uh, it was used as a synonymous term for this gay uh, for the first time when it was uh, it was initiated or this gay term was introduced and came. And this is not a very new term. The cure theory was, or the term cure was first used in uh, 1990. Yeah, that that is it. It is not a very new uh, concept. It's an age-long concept. Started in 19th century. So what the term cure is or what cure theory says is we should not relate anything to sexuality, sex or gender. We, there is no normal and no not so normal thing in this world when it comes to the sexuality or gender. We have created these gender in our heads and uh, they, and we have created this uh, normal definition of sex, uh, sexuality, and this does not exist as a fact. So the cure theory says that sexuality, that, uh, the concept of sexuality, the concept of uh, gender is fluid in nature. It is different from, uh, for everyone. So you can't say that something is normal and something is not normal. Let's see what the concept says. See, as you're not aware of the cure theory, let's first talk about LGBTQ. You might have heard the term LGBTQ. The, just a second, sir. Yeah, next one. Uh, you might have heard the term LGBTQ. And uh, as you can see on your screen, that uh, LGBTQ full form is L stands for lesbian, G stands for gay, B stands for bisexual, T stands for transgender, Q stands for cure that we are here for, and I stands for intersex, A stands for so many things like agender, asexual, and L community. Now, so many of you have not have heard so many terms or might not know the exact meaning of these. So we'll discuss that first. So the first one is lesbian. Um, it is a community where a girl is attracted to another girl. The normal concept in our society is that the sexual orientation of boy is towards a girl and that of girl is towards a boy. But uh, this term, lesbian, says that the sexual uh, inter orientation of a girl can also be a girl. So this is the term lesbian. Next one is gay. Uh, when we talk about gay, it is when a male is attracted to a romantically attracted towards a, another male. Then the third word is bisexual. When a person can be attracted to either of the gender, male or female, then it's transgender. Now, transgender, again, is a very umbrella term. I think we should discuss it when we are discussing about cure. Same goes with intersex, agender, asexual, because these terms also come under queer. Cure is also an umbrella term. But there is one more thing that is called LE community. So can you please change the slide? Now, if I say that, do you belong to this LGBTQ community? One might say, ma'am, I don't belong to this. I am very straight. I have never thought of it. I will never uh, become a part of this community. But if you have open mind, if you're fighting for the equality of these people, if you believe in the policy making uh, structure to be non-discriminative and equal to everyone, if you consider them as equal humans, and if you're talking about their rights as well, you also, my dear, come under this community. Because this community is very big. It is not only about those people who are um, actually fighting for these rights, but also about people who are fighting for them. So the last term, A, also um, contains this community called LE community. Now, can you, uh, if you see in the screen, LE community, Yes, sir. Anyone, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity, 
can support the LGBTQ community and those who are supporting it, it is called Ali community. So we here, as we are talking about the policy regarding, LGBT, uh, regarding LGBTQ community, as we are talking about non-discriminating against them, I think we all belong to this Ali community. Okay, now. Uh, the, the main, I think now you're aware of what we are going towards, like what is the direction of this uh, particular dis direct, uh, particular conversation. So we'll start with the main term, which is cure or what is cure theory. Sir, can we have a next slide? Thank you. Now the word cure is cure or the cure theory has some of these connotations. Uh, or alignment, like it relates to homosexuality. One might use it as synonymous to gay or someone who they believe to be gay. So, uh, so that is what you can you can find synonymous terms, or you can find whenever you'll be searching about pure or pure theory, these terms will come in the search. Why is it so? Because in 1990, when this term was first used, it was used for the gay community. Or someone who uh, who world would think might be a gay or similar of these kinds. So this term first used was it. It was not a very uh, negative connotation then. First it was used like a normal positive connotation. Just identifying a community of people. Later on it came with a negative connotation. And now when people are again using this term. They want to use this term in a way that it is a pride. Or they want to give their, uh, this term a positive connotation again. So you can use it synonymously. And it was used in so many connotations like positive, then negative, then again positive. But now when we are talking about LGBTQ, so this Q, the term Q, which is the umbrella term, it is used in a positive connotation, which includes every sort of sexualities and every sorts of genders. Okay, next please, sir. So when we talk about the concept of cure theory, we have already LGBT, then why do we have to add Q in it? So when we talk about the concept of this thing, the concept, the this theory actually seeks to deconstruct common way of thinking. Whatever you are th uh, thinking about uh, any gender, like it can, it need not to be only about sexual orientation. Even when you are talking about genders, you commonly think about men, uh, male and female. And they still have their own duties. They still have their own um, set criteria. So this they want to change. They want to deconstruct the way of thinking only. The thinking pattern they are changing. They are saying there is no gender specific role. And there is no gender as specific. Anyone can have any gender. Because gender is not just about your genitals. It goes more beyond that. Bit. So firstly they seek to deconstruct your common way of thinking. Secondly, they want to overturn widely held norms and to define all of the society as part play between the oppressed and the oppressor. Like, in, in the, according to this theory, there is no one else, but there is one person which is oppressor and there is other person who is oppressed. And they think because this cure uh, people who are very neutral about their gender or sexuality or orientation, they think that uh, this particular minority is being oppressed. So this, uh, they are just categorizing the whole world into two categories, oppressor and oppressed. Now the next thing that this theory aims at, it focuses on deconstructing sexuality and gender and consequently everything affected by these facets of life, such as family structure. The main thing that gets affected by gender and sexuality is family structure. They want to focus on deconstructing all the sexual sexuality relating to this. Now, the next thing, the, the goal of this theory is to discourse entirely, meaning um, that they want to change the mainstream thinking so that nothing is even thought of as a normal or abnormal. When we talk about LGBTQ, even now, we consider that it is only few people or it is only a minority of people or it is something as not normal. This theory says that there is nothing like normal or abnormal. So this theory is trying to make it a point that when it comes to gender, 
sexuality, there is nothing as normal and nothing as uh, abnormal or not so normal. So this is the concept and this is the aim of this theory. Now, if we go to the definition, as I told you, the concept came long back in 1990s. Now, uh, if you were, um, yeah, if you were an um, English student, literature student, you must have read it in a very, like, uh, thorough way. But here we don't need to. And uh, we are going to discuss about it with respect to law. So we are just going to discuss the definition. Uh, when we talk about the definition, it explores and challenges the way in which heterosexuality is constructed as normal. We are saying that homosexuality is abnormal and heterosexuality is normal. Heterosexuality means two opposite gender being attracted towards each other, sexually oriented towards each other. So normal is heterosexuality is normal and homosexuality, homosexuality means uh, both from the same genders can't be sexually attracted towards each other. So what they are trying to say is heterosexuality, if you are portraying as a normal, there is no such concept. Because homosexuality has been there since ages. It is not some uh, very far off concept or it is not very abnormal concept. And so they are saying heterosexuality cannot be constructed as normal. And the way in which the media has limited the representations of gay men and women, they are also challenging that. That means they are not just gay men and uh, gay women. There are so many more. There are asexual, there are intersex. There are, uh, there are so many more categories under this. So they want to get away with this limitation only. Now, it also suggests that uh, sexual identity is more fluid and it challenges the traditionally held assumption that there is, a, uh, there is an oppositional divide between being gay and heterosexual. Like they are both opposite. They are just saying that they both are a part of social society and they both are normal. So, can we have a next slide, please? So, now let's come to this term cure. It is an umbrella term. So, as you can see on the screen, there are so many terms that comes under this cure terms. And when we say, uh, when we say all others, that can also include so many more other terms. So, now lesbian and gay we have already uh, discussed. Bi also we have discussed. Let's talk about trans, intersex, pansexual, asexual. I am sure if you have not heard the term here, most probably you might not have heard all of these terms as well. Can we have a next slide, sir? So when it comes to pansexuality, it means a person can be attracted to anyone irrespective of gender, irrespective of sexual orientation. It can be attracted towards anyone. Pansexuality is sexual, romantic or emotional attraction towards people of all genders regarding of their sex. It also includes transgender. It also includes any other form of gender. So uh, pansexuality is basically a very open form of sexuality, uh, sexuality which is attracted to anyone and everyone. Yeah, it is new, I know, but actually uh, some people are like that. Next, sir. Now, in another term, asexual. Now, in the movies also, they are portraying so many times. Now, at least we know about these terms because the awareness is there um, more than ever before. So asexual, I think uh, most of you might have seen the movie also, which recently uh, came. Uh, uh, Prem Katha, Satyajit Ki Prem Katha, in which uh, uh, the person, the girl says that I'm asexual. Now, what do you mean by asexual? Human beings who lack the sexual orientation or sexual attraction. So, they, these persons are called asexual. So, they also come under this term, cure. So, next one. Now, there is a word called trans and you might have seen I have written it like a trans only, not transgender, not transsexual. I have just written trans because this term trans consists of both these terms, transgender also, transsexual also. Now, there is a difference between two. I'll tell you what. A transgender person is an umbrella term for these terms. 
So transgender person is someone whose gender identity differs from that typically associated with the sex that were assigned through the birth. Some transgender people who desire medical assistance and they go and undergo a surgery. So they change their uh, gender and they are called transsexual. Now transgender, because I said it is an umbrella term, it also includes the third gender that we talk about. We often use uh, the word skinner. We often use other words for that. So it also comes under this word, which is called transgender. So if a person who is not identifying with the gender he or she was born with and undergoes a surgery to change the gender, that person will be called transsexual. That will also come under this term. Also, the third gender, the third gender other than men, women, will also come under this term, which is trans. He will be called transgender. So both of these terms come under this word trans when we talk about. So please next one. Okay, next we have is intersex. Now, uh, I don't know how many of you have heard it. There are many different ways to be an intersex person. Now, some intersex person uh, people have genitals or internal sex organs that fall outside the Basically, um, if you don't want to make it complex, you just think like a person which is born with some change or some defect in either the chromosomes. We all know that there are X chromosomes and Y chromosomes. There are people, there are children who are born with XXY or XYY. These children can be called as intersex. The, the, when they are born, then only the with the help of medical surgery, they can be changed into a normal person. And sometimes even when it does not disclose it, they can live like a normal person. But only chromosomes will differ. Other than that, sometimes they have a different level of gender, uh, genitals. So they can also be corrected by the doctors at that time. So it is like people born with some abnormality. And you can't even say abnormality. Just you can say that they are not born in a way usually men or women are born they're born with some uh, chromosome defect or some genitals change so that can be corrected easily by the medical procedure and even if that is not changed it is not unhealthy in nature and they can survive normally like a normal human so they are called intersex next one the next we have okay Every word we have discussed and everything we have discussed, but uh, did it ever occur? Why are we discussing about it? What is so special about LGBTQ? What is so special about queer? We have so many problems in our country. We have unemployment, illiteracy, uh, still prevailing that we have been discussing from law. And there are so many other problems. Why are we suddenly talking about queer? We'll talk about it. Next slide, please. And on fifth number, Germany, 11.7 percentage. For, fourth number, Australia, 11.9 percentage. And third, Spain, 12 percentage. And uh, second is Brazil, 15 percentage. Can you guess the first number in the survey? Which country has the most queer population? Next slide, please. It is none other than our country, India. Our country, India, has 17 percentage of queer population. And we all know that in our country, there is a stigma that is attached to these people, this community. So you could understand how many of them could have disclosed their real identity. Even then, our percentage is 17 percentage. We have the most queer population, even according to the survey, which is not too true in our country. Most of them must not have disclosed also. So you can, you can estimate that almost 20-25% population that we have are now queer population. So it is not so much in priority that we can't even talk about their rights. We have to think about their rights. It's the necessity of the art. If not now, when? Okay, now we we'll start the other topic, the other uh, direction of the topic. Now that you know about the concept and why we are going through it. Let's just also focus about why we are, uh, what is so bad about it? 
like why do we need to discuss about policy and all they are also citizen they are also human being they are also getting their fundamental rights then what is going wrong with them why are we going to discuss about them there are so many uh, atrocities there are so many stigmas which are attached and there therefore they are facing so many problems that is why we are discussing about their rights next slide please and these problems not only consist of social stigmas or something related to social problem they also related uh, relate to a legal problem and they are all very major problem some problems i have listed there like if they disclose their identity uh, identity most of them have to abandon their school because they get bullied in the school so much then some of them have to leave their family and home some of them lack like access to regular employment and having fewer possibilities than other then uh, they are being shunned and alone in the neighborhood like they are not illegal but people will not talk to them normally and we all know human beings are social beings so it is not a very good feeling to be alone then they are also unable to access a range of services and unaware of their rights some of them not even know till now that it is now not illegal to enter in such homosexual relationship because yeah. earlier it was then uh, mobility also because of these all problems they have to move from one place to another which is mostly they come to the urban areas where at least they can disclose their identity because when it comes to rural areas of india it is so much no, so much worse than in urban uh, urban india like at least we know the terms at least we know that they have rights but in rural countries so they the stigma is to the next level so most of the time they have to come to the urban area so that they at least can survive and disclose their identity now this these all rights uh, there are rights for them but they don't know and there are so many rights that are denied to them that is what is our part of discussion why law is denied them uh, why law is continuously denying them some very very basic rights they can't like suppose if we talk about a gay couple they can't have a registered marriage they can't adopt the kids they can't have medical insurance together they can't have life insurance together they can't even have a bank account together like a normal couple so how is it fair they are not only uh, facing the social stigma even now but also they are lacking so many rights that we normally have see at one of one time even uh, women were considered on a lower pedestal they were considered that they should not vote and also they should uh, not drive but now we are all driving can't you see it's too normal so likewise we are not giving them rights but if we'll give we'll find out that it is very normal so uh, we'll discuss further about it next slide please see it is not like our supreme court is not doing anything our supreme court time and again with so many cases have given them so many rights some of them we'll discuss right now like in 2015 supreme court lays uh, laid down the groundwork to legally recognize transgender before that transgenders were not even recognized in this judgment of nalsa uh, it is a significant milestone judgment for transgender rights in india supreme court recognized transgender individuals as a third gender and now you will see in every government form there is male female and transgender there is a option of taking a gender third gen as a third gender we have recognized them now and they because they are now regarded as a third gender they are also provided fundamental rights that are provided to any gender so this came with that judgment it is a very uh, milestone judgment and it includes their right to self identity and access to healthcare education employment without any discrimination so one of the very crucial and important judgment for a transgender people was nal sa judgment in 2014 Let, next uh, sir let's go to the next case next in 2017 supreme court also gave them sexual orient uh, this concept that sexual orientation uh, orientation included under right to privacy you must have heard this and uh, 
you must have uh, on the basis of this particular right which was given in putta swami versus union of india which is very big right article 21 the scope of article 21 was elaborated to an extent that we all got this right to privacy and if you uh, are remembering this case you would remember there was a aadhar card controversy and we were asking continuously why are you asking us to um, to connect our aadhar card with everything we have privacy regarding our bank accounts regarding our biometric regarding our eye scanner iris scanner why are you asking us to match everything to connect everything and give you the information when we don't know where are you going to use this information in and also uh, we don't know how secure it is we have our right to privacy and you are intruding it so supreme so court in this particular uh, case said that putta swami versus union of india that fundamental right there this is our fundamental right to have right to privacy and when this judgment came it was like a relief for all these transgender people because if we have right to privacy then privately what we are doing can't be can't be uh, construed as an offense before this judgment there was this section which says section 377 in ipc which actually criminalizes criminalizes any relationship any homosexual relationship so after this judgment we actually this is very basic judgment that gave the hope to all the uh, all the homosexual people and then came followed it followed by a very important judgment so next slide please. the case you might have heard navteet singh johor versus union of india in 2018 based on this privacy judgment only this navteet singh johor versus union of india judgment came at it decriminalized the homosexual relationship which was there in article uh, section 377 of ipc so now having a homosexual relationship that means have being a gay or being a lesbian was no more an offense and police can't arrest you just for this offense that you have entered into a homosexual relationship it was kind of a relief for lgbtq community and uh, with this judgment they started saying if the relationship is okay why not our uh, uh, marriage why can't you say that uh, you recognize and register our uh, register our marriage so so many petitions get, went to the court for the same reason privacy came now you decriminalize our relationship now why don't you recognize our relationship as well or why don't you register our relationship as well next judgment sir so in the next judgment supreme court uh, was in a tussle government was saying don't you dare say yes to this and uh, people were saying if you can like say yes to our relationship why can't you register and recognize our marriage but supreme court said that it is okay we recognize your uh, fundamental right because it comes from the fundamental right of privacy but just because you have fundamental right of privacy and you have fundamental right to choose your partner that does not mean that you have fundamental right to register your marriage as well it does not the scope is not so long that it gives you impliedly this fundamental right so we can't consider it but yes we can say that any family which is not a typical family typical family means there is a father there is a mother and there is a child but any family which is not a typical family like two people who are gay and their son or uh, single parents and their son or daughter so any atypical family should be given protection and that is why now you now you can see single parent can also adopt a kid single parent can also go to the go with pride to a school and just write okay just mother or just father so single marriage and any atypical family they were given protection under this particular uh, judgment of supreme court but still recognition and registration of marriage is not there in our country why so why are we not giving this particular right why is there so much uh, gap between law and reality we'll find out next slide please now there are five main reasons there are so many more obviously our uh, society is uh, so much emotional and so much in, uh, like intrigued towards religious um ceremonies and spiritual uh, inclination is there 
but other than that government has five major reasons five major reasons other than for religion uh, that are there to say no to these kinds of law like suppose if you are uh, saying that why there are no legal uh, registration or recognition of a gay marriage these are the five basic reasons first one says broad scheme of personal laws in india which does not recognize marriage now when we talk about personal laws you might have heard there is a hindu law there is a muslim law people with different different religion they have they are uh, different laws different personal laws are applied to them okay that is why there was a tussle of triple talaq you remember triple talaq case also came because of this only because we all have different different suppose in muslims they can have four marriages and it is okay but in hindus they can't have four marriages if they'll have it will be often so different personal laws apply to applies to different persons now already our society is such that we are having so many different laws different personal laws and in all these personal law like either in hindu law or in muslim law or in special marriage act the concept of marriage is given between a man and a woman now when a personal law does not even recognize this kind of marriage which is applying to you how are you going to consider a gay marriage these laws don't even have this concept of gay marriage so because in our country you understand when we talk about our country with marriage comes so many other rights as well married couple can have a bank account married couple will be benefited from each other's employment married uh, couple can have pension for uh, from each other married couple uh, will be benefited uh, in, by the insurance by medical or life insurance of each other there are so many right medical couple can adopt a kid medical couple can uh, sorry not cup, medical couple normal couple can um, uh, own a house there are so many rights that comes with marriage in our country so that is why these couples which are gay couples uh, it is very difficult for our uh, our government to give them this right because that will come with so many other complexities first one being said second one is the absence of uniform civil code time and again we are having debate about uniform civil code what is uniform civil code under article 44 it is said that uh, government should make laws to promote uniform civil code uniform civil code is when the civil law uniform one civil law applies to whole of the country but right now we don't have it because we also have the concept of secularism we also have the concept of fundamental right uh, freedom of religion and we have so many other concept that this universal code of conduct or universal civil code cannot be applied right away it will take so much time when we don't have a uniform civil law for the whole country how can you then ask a government to have this gay ma- gay marriage uh, law which will be uniformly distributed even normal laws we don't have uniformity so then how come in this law you can ask for uniformity it is going to be very difficult now the next point says laws for the protect there are several laws which are made basically for the protection of women like domestic violence law or uh, uh, dowry protection from dowry act now these all law are not gend um, they are not gender equal they are gender biased there is no equality of gender or they are not gender neutral we can say it is specifically for women now if you are saying that there is a gay couple the same thing can happen in gay couple but they can't be covered in this what will do about these laws they will be waste if you are saying that there is a couple woman is going being uh, like domestic violence they can go for this particular law there is no gender neutral law right now we are even discussing about it but still parliament is not working on it they don't see the need of making gender neutral laws so now when they are not even thinking about making gender neutral law how can you think about having a homosexual law it is a very far fetched dream if we talk about it now the next one is issues of child right now when we talk about normal heterosexual couple they come together they reproduce they have their kid and there are child rights that comes with it now but we, when we talk about the gay marriage how are we going to justify these child rights and they can also affect the child they can ha- because even if you see in law 
even if a mother is arrested for some offence, and even if a mother is given capital punishment, the moment it is it comes to light that the uh, that the girl or the woman is uh, pregnant. the there is a delay of capital punishment even the capital punishment is delayed for 5 years why because a child needs the mother so child rights we are taking care so vividly and we don't know how it will impact the child rights so we can't have that law with this risk that how much effect it will have on the child rights next we have is uh, as i already discussed that we have fundamental right to privacy and now also we can have a homosexual relationship since we have a fundamental right to choose our part partner irrespective of the gender and it is no more an offense now but that does not guarantee that you also have a fundamental right to register a marriage it is a policy matter government will decide whether it will recognize or register your marriage or not it is not in your hands so it's a fundamental right is not um cannot be interpreted in such a way that it impliedly gives you this right so that is why if you don't have a fundamental right it is not enforceable in nature and you can't force a government to make a law of it okay next one i hope everyone is understanding you uh, you may please include me if something is yeah. out uh, uh okay sir sure so um ab humne itni baat kar li ki kya dikkat hai hamari country mein country hamari government ha kyun nahi bolti aise law banane ke liye jo homosexual nature ke ho jo gay marriage ko promote kare hamari country mein itni problem hai kya kahi kabhi koi bhi law nahi bana iske upar no just now we saw ki hamari country first number pe aati hai hai na we have the most queer population in the world there are so many countries that are behind us humse bhi piche but unke paas gender neutral laws hain unke paas gay marriage ko promote karne wale laws hain unke paas aise laws hain jo ki gay marriages ko register bhi karte hain aur recognize bhi karte hain i'll give you some examples usa uk australia ireland canada france norway germany sweden ये उन कंट्रीज में से हैं जिनके पास सेम सेक्स मैरिज से रिलेटेड लीगल लॉज हैं दे कंसीडर इट एज अ लीगल दे गिव इट द लीगैलिटी और दे प्रमोट और रिकॉग्नाइज दिस सेंस ऑफ दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ मैरिज नाउ इफ यू सी द लिस्ट दीज ऑल कंट्रीज आर डेवलप्ड नेशन सारी की सारी डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज हैं तो आपको नहीं लगता कि जब डेवलप कंट्रीज इस बारे में सोच रही है और हमारे पास सबसे ज्यादा पॉपुलेशन है तो हमको भी इसके बारे में सोचना चाहिए बिल्कुल सोचना चाहिए इसलिए आप देखोगे कि बहुत सारे स्ट्राइक्स uh, हो रहे हैं बहुत सारे डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन हो रहे हैं बार बार हो रहे हैं और स्पेशली जब से हमें ये पता चला कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी मान लिया कि भाई होमोसेक्शुअल रिलेशनशिप uh, गलत नहीं है ठीक है हम सबके पास फंडामेंटल राइट टू प्राइवेसी है हर दिन एक ना एक प्लीज सुप्रीम कोर्ट में जाती है रिगार्डिंग दिस uh, लीगैलिटी ऑफ गे राइट लीगैलिटी ऑफ गे मैरिजेस हर दिन कम से कम एक चीज आ रही है सो इसके अलावा हैविंग दिस थिंग सेट कि हमें गे मैरिज को लीगल कर देना चाहिए इसके अलावा भी कुछ राइट्स हैं कुछ प्लीज हैं जो जो प्योर थ्योरी के अंदर आती हैं या जो एल जी बी टी क्यू कम्युनिटी जो है वो डिमांड कर रहे हैं गवर्नमेंट से हम उनके बारे में देखते हैं थोड़ा सा वॉट आर वॉट आर द्लीज दैट आर रिलेटेड टू देम वॉट डू दे वॉन्ट नेक्स्ट पहले वो बोल रहे हैं कि स्पाउस को आप जेंडर न्यूट्रल बना दो जब भी आप किसी लॉ में भी ऐसी बात करो कि स्पाउस uh, की बात करें स्पाउस मीन्स द पार्टनर लाइफ पार्टनर ठीक है तो जब भी आप कोई भी राइट right या कोई भी ड्यूटी किसी स्पाउस या पार्टनर को देते हैं मेक इट अ जनरल न्यूट्रल आप बोल रहे हो कि किसी के साथ भी डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस हुआ मैरिज uh, में तो आप उसको ऐसे ही रहने दो आप ये मत बोलो कोई वुमेन के साथ हुआ या मैन के साथ हुआ आप ऐसे सारे लॉज को ऐसे सारे लॉज जो स्पाउस के बारे में बात करते हैं उनको आप जेंडर न्यूट्रल कर दो उसमें आप कोई जेंडर रखो ही मत आप बोलो 
कि वेकर स्पॉल्स आर जेंडर न्यूट्रल यू डोंट कीप एनी जेंडर दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर जेंडर विल बी गिवन दिस पर्टिकुलर बेनिफिट तो आप ये सारी चीजों को जेंडर न्यूट्रल कर दीजिए क्योंकि हमारे अंदर जेंडर का कोई कॉन्सेप्ट है ही नहीं जेंडर इज फार मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स एन वॉट यू कंसिडर एज जेंडर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट नॉर्मली एज जेंडर वी टॉक अबाउट बायोलॉजिकल जेंडर मेल एंड फीमेल बट इट गोज फार बी ऑन द जेंडर इट गोज फार बी ऑन द जेनिटल इवन सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेड एंड एक्सेप्टेड दैट जेंडर इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स टॉपिक एंड इट गोज बी ऑन जेनिटल इट इज नॉट जस्ट जेनिटल दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट जेंडर न्यूट्रल लॉ तो आप ये भी मत बोलो कि मेल या फीमेल आप बोलो मेल फीमेल ट्रांसजेंडर होमोसेक्सुअल हेट्रोसेक्सुअल जो भी हो अगर आप दोनों एक रिलेशनशिप में हैं अगर आप एक दूसरे के स्पाउस हैं तो आपके ऊपर ये लॉस अप्लाई होंगे और ऐसे अप्लाई होंगे आप जेंडर न्यूट्रल कर दो आपने सुना होगा बहुत बार अभी डिस्कशन हो रहा है कि डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस मैन के साथ भी होता है इंडिया में मैन सेफ नहीं है मैन के साथ भी रेप हो रहा है लेकिन मैन के पास कोई रेप से रिलेटेड लॉज ही नहीं है और इसलिए यहाँ पे एक डिमांड हुई थी कि प्लीज मेक रेप लॉज एज जेंडर न्यूट्रल लॉज ऑब्वियसली पार्लियामेंट के पास अपने रीजन हैं इसको अभी जेंडर न्यूट्रल ना करने के लिए क्योंकि परसेंटेज बहुत कम है मैन का एंड ऑल्सो अगर ऐसा कर दिया तो मैन उल्टा वुमेन के ऊपर लगाने लगेंगे और वुमेन जो ऑलरेडी ऑप्रेस है वो और अप्रेस हो जाएंगे इसलिए पार्लियामेंट अभी ऐसा कोई स्टेप नहीं ले पर यह डिमांड आई क्यों क्योंकि ये हो सकता है और फिर अगर ऐसा कहीं होगा भले ही दो परसेंट लोगों के साथ भी क्यों ना हो मैन विल हैव नो स्कोप कौन से लॉ के पास जाएंगे हमारे सारे लॉ जेंडर स्पेसिफिक है जेंडर न्यूट्रल कोई लॉ है ही नहीं मैन वुमेन आप आईपीसी पढ़ोगे सबसे पहले लिखा हुआ है कि मैन क्या होता है वुमेन क्या होता है ट्रांसजेंडर की तो बात ही नहीं की है मतलब ट्रांसजेंडर के साथ अगर रेप होगा तो वो कोर्ट जा ही नहीं सकता मैन के साथ रेप होगा तो वो कोर्ट जा ही नहीं सकता डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस पे तो आता ही नहीं है क्योंकि मैरिज मानते ही नहीं है ट्रांसजेंडर्स के बीच में ये मैरिजेस तो एक्सेप्टेड ही नहीं है मतलब उनके साथ जो भी हो वो कोर्ट जा ही नहीं सकते तो यहाँ पे सबसे पहली डिमांड यही है कि आप सारे ऐसे लॉस को सारे जिसमें स्पाउस की बातें हो रही है एटलीस्ट मैरिज की बातें हो रही है उसको तो आप जेंडर न्यूट्रल करो नाउ नेक्स्ट डिमांड राइट टू मेक फंडामेंटल चॉइसेस उनका ऐसा कहना है और हम सबका ऐसा मानना है कि कुछ चॉइसेस हैं जो हमारे लिए बहुत फंडामेंटल है एज ए राइट टू चूज अ पार्टनर इज अ वेरी फंडामेंटल चॉइस दैट वी हैव एंड इवन अंडर आर्टिकल 21 हम कंसिडर करते हैं कि हाँ भाई सबको अपने पार्टनर को चूज करने का राइट है जब सबको अपने पार्टनर को चूज करने का राइट है तो आप इनको भी अपने पार्टनर को चूज करने का राइट दो इवन ट्रांसजेंडर्स को भी अपने पार्टनर को चूज करने का राइट दो एंड आपको जान के अच्छा लगेगा कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ये राइट दे भी दिया सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने सेक्शन 377 हटाया विद द केस दैट वी हैव जस्ट डिस्कस्ड दैट इज नवते सिंह जौहर वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया एंड ही सेड कि होमोसेक्सुअल या गे मैरिजेस सॉरी गे रिलेशनशिप्स या लेस्बियन रिलेशनशिप्स आर एक्सेप्टेड वो कोई ऑफेंस नहीं इसके अलावा एक सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट ने स्पेसिफिकली बोला कि इवन जो ट्रांसजेंडर्स होते हैं थर्ड जेंडर्स होते हैं ट्रांसेक्शुअल होते हैं जिनके बारे में हमने बात की थी वो भी अपने फंडामेंटल राइट का यूज कर सकते हैं और अपने पार्टनर को चूज कर सकते हैं उनको भी हक है अपने पास एक लविंग पार्टनर रखने का और वो चूज कर सकते हैं कि वो किसी भी जेंडर में से किसमें से चूज करना चाहे सो दिस पार्ट इज ऑलरेडी टेकन केयर ऑफ बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट चलो नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वी हैव इराडिकेट सोशल स्टिग्मा एंड दिस इज नथिंग दैट कोर्ट कैन डू एंड पार्लियामेंट कैन डू ये सब काम हमको ही करना पड़ेगा This is the game of mindset. आपको अगर सोशल स्टिग्मा हटाना है तो उसके लिए आपको माइंड सेट चेंज करना पड़ेगा उसके लिए हम अवेयरनेस ला सकते हैं सबके अंदर जितने लोगों के अंदर अवेयरनेस होगा उतना ही ये चीज नॉर्मल होती जाएगी सो so, उसके लिए इराडिकेट सोशल स्टिग्मा एंड ऑस्ट्रेटिकल दिस प्लीज एक्चुअली अगेंस्ट ऑल ऑफ अस Recognize same-sex union as marriage. Now this we have uh, discussed at length. कि कि क्यों demand है कि same-sex marriage क्यों legal हो जानी चाहिए और parliament इसको क्यों नहीं दे रही? उनकी क्यों demand है basic demand है क्योंकि इसके साथ बहुत सारी other rights आती हैं right to adopt, uh, right to have insurance, right to have bank account, right to have property. बहुत सारी other rights आती हैं marriage के साथ. इसलिए उनको चाहिए कि उनको भी marriage का 
लीगल लीगल रिकॉग्निशन मिले लीगल रजिस्ट्रेशन हो सके उनके मैरिज का इवन आप वीजा भी ले सकते हो अगर आप बाहर जा रहे हो तो आपके पार्टनर के बेसिस पे आप वीजा भी ले सकते हो बट यहाँ पे अगर मैरिज रजिस्टर्ड ही नहीं है रिकॉग्नाइज ही नहीं है तो वो ऐसा नहीं कर सकते तो बहुत सारी ऐसी एंजलरी राइट है जो उनको नहीं मिलती बिकॉज उनकी मैरिज रिकॉग्नाइज नहीं होती और पार्लियामेंट ऐसा कर नहीं सकती क्योंकि ऑलरेडी कॉम्प्लेक्स सोसाइटी को हम और कॉम्प्लेक्स नहीं कर सकते तो इसलिए पार्लियामेंट कह रही है कि अभी तो मैं रेडी नहीं हूँ सुप्रीम कोर्ट को भी बोल दिया आप हाँ मत कर देना ये पॉलिसी मैटर है या हम डिसाइड करेंगे कि हमें इस पर लॉ बनाना है या नहीं बनाना है आप अभी से अपने आप से हाँ मत बोल देना ठीक है नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट प्ली दैट दे हैव इज मैरिटल राइट अंडर स्पेशल मैरिज एक्ट उनका ऐसा कहना है कि ठीक है आप हमें नॉर्मल मैरिज एक्ट के अंदर नहीं दे सकते क्योंकि हिंदू मैरिज में हम रिकॉग्नाइज नहीं है हिंदू मैरिज एक्ट में आप बोलते हो कि मैरिज किसी लड़के और लड़की के बीच में हो सकती है मुस्लिम मैरिज एक्ट में भी आप बोलते हो कि लड़का और लड़की जो है वही जब निकाह कर सकते हैं बट एटलीस्ट इन स्पेशल मैरिज एक्ट जिसमें आप बाकी सारे रिलीजन को इंक्लूड कर रहे हो बाकी सारे कल्चर्स को इंक्लूड कर रहे हो उनकी सारी सेरेमनीज को इंक्लूड करके उनको रिकोगनाइज कर रहे हो एटलीस्ट उस लॉ में तो आप उनको रिकोगनाइज करो हमें पूरी राइट मत दो कम से कम स्पेशल मैरिज एक्ट के अंदर जो राइट मिलती है किसी कपल को वो राइट तो दे दो तो ये इनकी लास्ट भी है कि ठीक है आपको पूरे लॉस चेंज करने की जरूरत नहीं है आपको दिक्कत है लॉस चेंज करने में सारे पर्सनल लॉज आप चेंज नहीं कर सकते किसी की आइडियोलॉजी को आप टच नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि सेक्युलर देश है हमारा वी ऑल हैव राइट टू फ्रीडम ऑफ रिलीजन तो एटलीस्ट जो स्पेशल मैरिज एक्ट आपने ऑलरेडी बनाया हुआ है उसके अंदर हमें रिकोगनाइज कर लो और हमें मेरिटल राइट दे दो दैट इज वॉट देर प्लीज नाउ आउट ऑफ दीज फाइव प्लीज कुछ हमने मान लिया है कुछ सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने दे दिया है और कुछ माइंडसेट की है जो कोई भी नहीं दे सकता वो धीरे धीरे ग्रेजुअली आएंगी और कुछ प्लीज ऐसी हैं जो पार्लियामेंट अभी नहीं दी सो दिस इज व्हाट क्योर थ्योरी इज क्योर थ्योरी इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू लॉ राइट नाउ इन इंडिया एंड व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द प्रेजेंट सिनेरियो प्रेजेंट कंडीशन ऑफ क्योर थ्योरी इन आर कंट्री इट इज दैट वी ऑल रिकोगनाइज दैम वी देर इज अवेयरनेस रिगार्डिंग दैम वी आर ऑल्सो एक्सेप्टिंग दैम but when it comes to political rights legal rights we are not giving them all of the rights because it is difficult for our society to do so now ye question aapke upar hai self introspect karne ke liye ki aapko kis side ko support karna hai kya aap parliament ko support karenge ki hamari society abhi ready nahi hai bhali hamara first number pe hamare paas bahut sari population hai jo pure population hai but still hum usko minority consider karke ignore karna chahte hain या फिर हम उनका साथ देंगे और उनके साथ जाएंगे और बोलेंगे कि नहीं आपको ये राइट्स मिलनी चाहिए क्योंकि ये राइट्स फंडामेंटल नेचर की सबको मिल रही हैं तो आपको क्यों ना मिले दिस इज अप टू यू दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन दैट यू कैन आस्क योर पॉइंट साइन एंड विद दिस आई वुड लाइक टू कंक्लूड इफ एनी डाउट प्लीज आप
हेलो नमस्ते मैडम मैडम मेरा एक सवाल है जो आपने भारत की बात करी है सेवेंटीन परसेंट की जो ये आंकड़े आई है ये शहरी आंकड़े है या ग्रामीण दोनों मिक्स है दोनों और मिक्स इनका सैंपल साइज सैंपल साइज क्या रहा होगा टेम्पल साइज सर एक्यूरेटली तो मुझे नहीं पता पर ये जो आंकड़े हैं ये रूरल एंड अर्बन दोनों के हैं एंड लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग दिस इज नॉट डन बाय आर कंट्री दिस इज अ यूनिफॉर्म प्लेटफॉर्म विच इज डन दिस सर्वे एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन कंसिडर कि हमारे कंट्री में बहुत सारे स्टिग्मा है इस चीज को इस चीज से रिलेटेड तो बहुत सारे लोगों ने डिस्कलोज भी नहीं किया होगा एंड बिकॉज इट वॉज टेकन बाय अ यूनिवर्सल प्लेटफॉर्म मोस्ट प्रोबेबली इट इज टेकन इन अ ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म तो बहुत सारे लोग के पास एक्सेसिबिलिटी भी नहीं होगी इसलिए मैं बोल रही हूँ कि ये आखिरी सेवेंटी परसेंट दिख रहे हैं पर ये इससे बहुत ज्यादा है और हमें ऐसा लगता है कि ये बहुत न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट है पर अगर हम अपनी हिस्ट्री में भी जाए तो हम मैंशन देखेंगे बहुत सारे होमोसेक्शुअल कपल्स हमें वहां भी दिखेंगे बट वो उन्हें प्रमोट नहीं करना चाह इसलिए हमने हिस्ट्री में भी उनको कम लिखा छुपा के लिखा पर ये बहुत टाइम से प्रेवलेंट है इट इज नॉट अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट इन आर कंट्री और इन एनी कंट्री ऑफ द वर्ल्ड मैडम जो अपने गांव की भाषा में बोलते हैं कि ये रंडवा है मतलब कुमारा तो नहीं बोलते उसको रंडवा बोल देते जिसकी शादी नहीं करता या उसका बहुत सारे रीजन रहते हैं कुछ शादी नहीं करते लेकिन ज्यादातर शादी नहीं हो पाती वो कम लिखा पड़ा है क्या इनको भी उसी कैटेगरी में लिया गया या इनको छोड़ दिया गया सर uh, uh, जो आप वर्ड बोल रहे हैं उसका अगर मीनिंग ये है कि जिसने शादी नहीं की है तो उसका इससे कोई रिलेशनशिप नहीं है मैं बताती हूँ शादी करना या नहीं करना ये हमारी चॉइस ठीक है यहाँ पे हम बात कर रहे हैं सेक्सुअलिटी की कि आप किसके तरफ अट्रैक्ट होते हैं या हम इस चीज की बात कर रहे हैं कि आपकी आइडेंटिटी क्या है कभी कभी ऐसे लोग होते हैं जो एज अ गर्ल पैदा हुए पर उनके अंदर जो हारमोन्स है या उनके अंदर जो फीलिंग्स है या उनके जो ट्रेट्स है वो मैस्क्यूलिन है तो हम उसकी बात कर रहे हैं कि आप कैसे आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं और ऑल्सो हम उसकी तरह उसकी बात कर रहे हैं कि आपका जेंडर क्या है तो हम यहाँ पे जेंडर आइडेंटिटी सेक्सुअल ओरिएंटेशन इन दोनों के बारे में बात करें हमारी चॉइस ऑफ गेटिंग मैरिड नॉट गेटिंग मैरिड उसके बहुत रीजन हो सकते हैं क्या पता वो इंसान ए सेक्शुअल हो देन वो इसके अंदर आ जाएगा क्या पता वो जस्ट इंसान ऐसा हो कि उसको अभी पढ़ना ही नहीं है इन सारी चीजों ठीक है उनको रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नहीं लेनी तो फिर वो इस टर्म के अंदर नहीं आएगा डिपेंड करता है रीजन क्या है उनके शादी ना करने का जी धन्यवाद मैडम जी <laughs> फिर वो इसके अंदर नहीं आएगा Hello, good evening, Dr. Bedkar sir, Principal sir, ma'am. Wonderful presentation, and uh, we are really exploring this subject. You know, uh, last I think two, three sessions, two sessions I think I had attended with this kind of topic, and uh, especially you know, expressed a legal legal aspect of this that is very important, because you know uh, many people you know they are discriminated from the society, they are discouraged, they are demoralized, and I think that is a very uh, wrong uh, from the point of uh, human rights. And India is also you know we are connected with the United Nations Human Rights, and mm. they says that there should be no discrimination as such you know in with with such kind of people, because uh, we believe in a strongly we believe in our democracy. and when we are saying democracy there is a freedom to for expressions and everything so one should fight for yes definitely they should fight for their own rights instead of getting you know uh, considering them as a third uh, part of this world so i think that is how we ha- they have to come by themselves also some of them are doing you know very well some of them are advocate some of them are principal some of them are they are doing really wonderful job otherwise so they are having their own personality it doesn't mean that you know when the sexuality is not identified or it is not you know the person is having some different deviation i think this is very important they should find out their own way no doubt the ngos and other things that the people are playing a role but when we are saying you know uh, about the rights what indian you know government or the national policy you know whether they are getting some funds whether they are getting business opportunities whether they are you know some people are fighting for their own rights you know that uh, we want in a uh, that kya bolte hain alp sankhyank mein hame jam le lijiye so whether they are having some kind of status where they will get their rights that is what they are fighting for sir 
even when because we see in the survey in our country we are having a very complex law right now you know there is no uniform code as such so naturally you know everyone will say will try to find it out from their point of view but uh, is there any primary things we are providing them why they are becoming you know they are moving all around the roads and the corners and the signals and the toll nakas and collecting something you know and that is only job they are having or they can do better you know in their life uh, yeah actually what you are what i um, understand from your question you are more inclined towards the transgender part which is called the third gender hai na because the other ones their sexual orientation is different but other than that they are getting all the rights as a citizen so they are basically lacking the marriage part marriage rights but when we talk about transgenders before 2014 judgment they were not even considered as a gender so all the laws which were gender specific were not implying to them so obviously before 2014 the condition was very pathetic obviously after the 2014 judgments they obviously <laughs> the condition is so much better because just with this recognition that they are a third gender all the fundamental rights they are getting okay they can apply for all the particular job the opportunities are now equal article 15 16 everything is equal for them also but still the problem lies here that the basic necessities or the basic services that all of us got they didn't get it there is there was an inequality by the way that uh, all of us started so now suppose we are giving reservation for sc and st for the same reason we are giving reservation for obs obc category for the same reason that uh, socially and economically they are backward but we are not giving the similar reservation to these transgenders to these third genders knowing that they were they have not started from the same point that we are starting from so obviously inequality lies there but they have this choice now because they also have this fundamental right now so they can choose their profession now they can be ips officer also now they can be politician also after that recognition the change the change in their condition is terrific but obviously there is a very big scope of improvement because still we can see few of them but now that they are getting fundamental rights that at, at least they are treated equally and only if suppose uh, they want to study obviously government is giving uh, free and compulsory education to everyone they are also citizen of a country now that they are considered as third gender they can also come and take benefit of it so all the benefits that a normal citizen is getting they are also getting and all the opportunities that a normal citizen is getting now they are also getting but obviously why you are seeing all of them still in traffic signals and everything because some of them have passed that stage they can't go back and get literate and then apply for the job so obviously there the lack is there there is a uh, like gap is there and we are not giving reservation to them so obviously that gap is there but slowly and steadily you see the change ma'am uh, uh, very very correctly you pointed out the things thank you very much but about the gays also you'll find there is a kind of emotions you know what they are having the psychological stress what they are going with so the the you know the society community is not uh, admitting them but their inclination is not there for the natural you know what the uh, one should have but they are having something different deviation so i think you know uh, one has to reach to that level of emotion and stress you know uh, what is, what are the uh, arising many of the times it happens that possibly you know they are tied with someone else and then the things goes in a very wrong way so i think instead of that we can go you know we should accept that their status and we can go for that no doubt there will be a lot many other sub laws has to be developed you know um, how how they will adopt a child or how they will go for the what will be their income source and so many things will come you know if we are ad- adopting the one law if we adopt one thing we have to go for uh, quite a good depth of no- knowledge then thank you thank you very much ma'am for the wonderful explanation Uh, thank you sir thank you i agree with you the mindset has to change and that will change with the maturity and maturity will come from the awareness and the fact that we are creating some awareness right now i think if we change little little everything will be changed so this is one step that we are taking countries who have adopted the things you know i think we have to make a study of their legislations and i think that will yeah. be helpful for us Very but helpful. how 
it will be true for our context we have to find it out thank Very you good, that is what uh, parliament is also thinking are we ready yet that is the question uh. मैडम मेरा एक सवाल ये भी है जो आपने कहा कि बहुत सारे कंट्री में ये लीगल मतलब कानून बना हुआ है जैसे मैं पूरी लिस्ट के हमें प्रेजेंट की है तो मेरा ये कहना ना हुई थी कानपुर की थी शायद कि वो दो महिलाएं थी उनका चार से पांच साल का बच्चा था उसने उनको देख लिया था तो उस बच्चे की उन्होंने बहुत बेहरामी से हत्या की थी दोनों ने मिलकर तो ऐसे केस अक्सर देखने को मिलते हैं तो ये जो हमारे भारत में कानून न बनने का जैसे मैं अपना मेरा मत है कि हम प्रकृति के बहुत नजदीक रहते हैं हमारी कल्चर अलग अलग है संस्कृति अलग अलग है बारह कोष पे बहुत कुछ बदलाव है तो हम पूजा पाठ में ज्यादा विश्वास रखते हैं तो प्रकृति से ज्यादा जुड़े रहते हैं तो हम इसको अप्राकृतिक अप्रकर, मानते हैं ऐसी समाज की थीमी में तो आपका क्या मत है कि ये कानून कहा एप्लीकेबल है जैसे हिंदू लॉ है मुस्लिम लॉ है और उन सब का अपना अपना एक कल्चर है और किसी भी कल्चर में ऐसा नहीं माना गया कि शादी जो है वो दो इक्वल जेंडर्स के बीच में हो सकती है आप हर रिलीजन देख लीजिए उसमें यही है कि शादी किसके बीच में होगी औरत के बीच में और आदमी के बीच में और इस वजह से पर्सनल लॉज में भी यही आया अब पर्सनल लॉज में भी यही आया तो आप पर्सनल लॉज वैसे भी जो इतने डाइवर्स है उसको आप और डाइवर्स करके नहीं कर सकते ना तो पहली अड़चन तो यही आ गई ऑब्वियसली ये जो रिलीजियस स्टिग्मा है ये भी एक अड़चन है जब पार्लियामेंट बनाने जाएगी 17 परसेंट या उनके जो एली कम्युनिटी है हमारी अगर उसको आप मिला भी लें तो मेजोरिटी से शायद कम होगी तो एक अर्जन वो भी है जो लिख नहीं सकते बट वो इम्प्लाइड है ऑब्वियसली वोट बैंक पॉलिटिशियंस देखते ही हैं माइनॉरिटी को इसलिए थोड़ी मेहनत करनी पड़ती है अपनी राइट्स लेने के लिए और भी बहुत सारे रीजन है जो मैंने अभी मैंशन किए थे स्लाइड में जो फर्स्ट रीजन था वो यही था जो आपने बोला सर This is a valid reason. हम सबके ऊपर अलग अलग पर्सनल लॉज अप्लाई करते हैं और उन सब में मैरिज का यही कॉन्सेप्ट है कि वहां पे कोई दो लोग जो सेम सेक्स के हैं सेम जेंडर के हैं वो शादी कर भी नहीं सकते तो जब हमारे दिमाग में ऐसा कोई कॉन्सेप्ट ही नहीं है हमारे लॉज में ऐसा कोई कॉन्सेप्ट ही नहीं है तो हम इस तरह का लॉ एक और नया बना के कैसे उन पर अप्लाई कर सकते जी धन्यवाद मैडम मैडम सही कह सर जी कह, सही बोले हैं क्योंकि लॉ का हम जो भारतीय हैं बहुत पीछे हैं हम मतलब अगर हम ग्रामीण क्षेत्र में तो जाएंगे तो वो लोग के बारे में तो कोई जानते ही नहीं और अगर शहरी में भी देखे तो आजकल भागदौड़ में ज्यादा हैं कानून के बारे में कोई जानकारी करना नहीं चाहता तो ये भी हमारी कहीं ना कहीं कमी रही है कि लो पढ़ लिया तो वही जानता है बाकी कहीं ऐसा कार्यक्रम नहीं सुन पाते हमने ही नहीं सुना हम यहाँ अपने बेटकर सर के कार्यक्रम में शामिल हो रहे हैं तो ये चीजें सुन रहे हैं नहीं तो हमने हम ही कहाँ सुनते हैं हम भी अपनी जॉब में अपनी नौकरी में अपनी पढ़ाई कर ली फिर हम क्यों लोगों की तरफ जाए जब हमारा कोई प्रोफेशनल नहीं है कोई क्षेत्र नहीं है अरे जब देखे जाएगा जब कुछ होगा तो नहीं तो हम ये देखेंगे कि अगर एक कोई रोड यानी एक हत्या की धारा हम शायद सुनते आए भाई तीन सौ सात लग जाएगी फिर एक बलात्कार की ये दो तीन धाराएं हमने सीखी है सुनी है बाकी हम बहुत पिछड़े हुए हैं लोग के बारे में सही कहा बैठकर सर ने कि आप कार्यक्रम हर रविवार लाए तो ये बहुत ही पूरा भारत जुड़ा हुआ है यहाँ पर कार्यक्रम से अगर मानने आपने कोई चीजें आज हमने आपने प्रस्तुति आपने हमें बताया तो दस लोगों में हम भी इसका जिक्र करते हैं वो धीरे धीरे ऐसी जागरूकता बढ़ेगी ये छोटा कारवा नहीं है अगर आप देखेंगे पचास लोग जुड़े नहीं पचास लोग नहीं 
यानी कई हजार लाखों लोगों से जुड़े हैं अगर मैं अपना अपना ओपिनियन दू मैं कम से कम हजारों लोगों से डिस्कस होता है इन चीजों में तो ये बातें भी हजारों में पहुंचेगी हजारों से कई हजारों में पहुंचेगी धन्यवाद आई थिंक यही इंटेंशन मेरा भी है यही इंटेंशन सर का भी है कि हम ऐसी अवेयरनेस क्रिएट कर सके और मुझे लगता है इसी वजह से सर कंसिस्टेंटली विदाउट फेल कब से रेगुलरली uh, सेशन ले रहे हैं गैस आज दो सेशन थे एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी कि जितने भी लोग टर्न अप हो पाए संडे के दिन दो सेशन होने के बाद भी दूसरे सेशन में आप लास्ट तक जुड़े हुए हैं थैंक यू सो मच मिलेगा जी जी सर नमस्कार सर आप आप मैडम नमस्कार आपका मतलब उद्बोधन बहुत अच्छा रहा पर इसमें कुछ मैं अपनी कुछ कुछ अलग राय रखता हूँ एक तो आपने कहा कि ट्रांसजेंडर तो इतिहास में अगर पुराने जमा से देखें तो ट्रांसजेंडर का भी बहुत बड़ा रोल रहा है राजाओं महाराजों के आप में जो उनकी जो रनिवास था या हरम थे मुगलों के उनका जो अहदेदार होता था वो होता था और सेना में भी उनकी बहुत भूमिका थी लेकिन हाँ ये मानते हैं कि आज के जमाने में सामाजिक रूप से जो है उनको हे दृष्टि से देखा जाता है और उनके उनके लिए किया जाना चाहिए ताकि समाज में उनको सही शिक्षा और जो आजीविका के हिसाब से जो है उनको भीख और मांगना नहीं पड़े रेलों में और इस ढंग से तो उनके लिए जरूर किया जाए बाकी इस एक मेरी बात से हो सकता है सब लोग सहमत नहीं हो लेकिन मेरा ये मानना है कि जो भी जो आप विवाह की जो बात कर रहे थे जो अप्राकृतिक है तो वो जो अप्राकृतिक विवाह है वो सामाजिक और धार्मिक दृष्टि से भी गलत है और उसको कानूनी रूप से मान्यता मिलेगी तो मेरा ये मानना है कि आगे जाके समाज में भी जो है वो एक अवनति का कारण होगा और और इसके कारण और भी कई समस्याएं उत्पन्न हो सकती है तो जो भारतीय जो सामाजिक ढांचा है उसमें बहुत कठिनाई उत्पन्न होगी और उसके परिणाम आगे जाके और खराब हो सकते हैं मेरा ये मानना है धन्यवाद सर हाँ जो आपने पहले कहा मैं बिल्कुल उससे असहमत नहीं हूँ हमेशा से ट्रांसजेंडर्स थे और हमेशा से उन्होंने कंट्रीब्यूट भी किया है आज उनकी दशा थोड़ी चेंज हो गई है दूसरा पार्ट जो आपने कहा आप अग्री नहीं करते ये आपकी फंडामेंटल राइट है सर आप जो सोचे जो चाहे वो आप बोल सकते हैं वो आप मान सकते हैं अब जो बात है मेरी कि मैं क्यों ओपिनियन ऐसा देती हूँ मुझे ऐसा लगता है सर अप्राकृतिक क्या है प्राकृतिक क्या है ये हम तय करते हैं ये हमें कहीं से मिला नहीं है है ना एक टाइम पे ऐसा था कि ये चीज भी प्राकृतिक थी कि एक राजा था उसकी सौ रानियां थी अब उस चीज को हमने लॉ में बोल दिया कि नहीं नहीं ऐसा होगा तो गलत होगा हमारी पूरे हिंदुस्तान के ढांचे को फर्क पड़ता है जो बच्चे पैदा होते हैं उनके राइट्स को फर्क पड़ता है तो हमने उसको मना कर दिया क्या पता आगे जाके आपकी भी सोच चेंज हो जाए कि ये शायद अप्राकृतिक नहीं है तो अप्राकृतिक क्या है और प्राकृतिक क्या है ये चेंज होता रहता है इट इज अबाउट द परसेप्शन दैट यू हैव तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि कोई इंसान जो इस चीज के साथ पैदा हुआ है ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई उसको डिसीज लग गया है वो इस ओरिएंटेशन के साथ पैदा हुआ है तो उसके लिए ये ही प्राकृतिक उसने कुछ और चीज सोची नहीं है समझी नहीं है उसके साथ कुछ और हो ही नहीं सकता इट इज नॉट अ डिसीज इट इज लाइक वॉट दे आर बॉन्ड विथ तो उनके लिए तो वही प्राकृतिक है मैं बस चाह रही हूँ कि मैं बस ऐसा कहना चाह रही हूँ मेरा ऐसा ओपिनियन है कि हमारे हम हम ना तय करें किसी और के लिए जिसके लिए जो उसको सही लगे वो कर सके नहीं मैडम इसमें एक बार कल जाके कोई कोई इंसान है कोई दिमाग में जैसे मैं किसी जानवर के साथ मैरिज और वो भी तो गलत होगा ना आगे जाके मतलब जी जी सर तो हमारे तो यही बिल्कुल, बिल्कुल, बिल्कुल जो आप बोल रहे हो ना वो बिल्कुल होता भी है वैसे केसेस और उसको ऑफेंस मानते भी है और उसी ऑफेंस में अननेचुरल ऑफेंस में पहले होमोसेक्सुअल रिलेशनशिप को रखा गया था जिसको सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने हटा दिया कि भाई होमोसेक्सुअल को आप हटा दो बाकी जो आप अगर किसी जानवर के साथ कोई सेक्सुअल इंटरपोज करते हो या किसी भी तरह से वो अननेचुरल ही है अभी जो आप बोल रहे हो वो अननेचुरल है वो अननेचुरल है वो मूव प्राणी है वो अपने राइट्स के लिए नहीं बोल सकते पर यहाँ पे दो इंसानों की बात हो रही है जो म्यूचुअली हाँ या ना कह सकते और अगर वो म्यूचुअली हाँ कहते हैं तो हमें लगता है कि उनके खुद के लिए जो उनके मन की बात है उसको उनको भी बोलने का अधिकार होना चाहिए उनके पास भी अधिकार होना चाहिए ऐसा हम मानना है ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है सब माने आपकी अपनी ओपिनियन है हमारी अपनी ओपिनियन है यही तो भारत है मैडम 
गलत तो गलत है बाकी ठीक है धन्यवाद मैडम थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू मैडम एक बात जोड़ दू मैं आ, जो प्रागति कहते हैं देखिए ये पर्दे के पीछे तो चल ही रहा है सिर्फ कानून बनेगा तो समाज की नजरों में आएगा मेरा ऐसा मत है कि जो अभी ये घटना हुई थी कानपुर के साथ उसके पति को तो मालूम था दोनों महिलाएं जो थी लेकिन बच्चे ने जैसे देखा उन्होंने समाज के डर से बच्चा कहीं जिक्र करेगा तब उस बच्चे की हत्या हुई तो पर्दे के पीछे तो ये चीज हो ही रही है शायद कानून बनेगा तो ये जो क्राइम शायद रेगुलेट हो जाएगा हाँ जी ये आज भी हो रहा है पर्दे के पीछे देखिए जो जिसको प्यार करता है या मोहब्बत करता है वो करता है या पर्दे के पीछे कर रहा है तब समाज के सामने आएगा तो उसका मुझे नहीं लगता कि कानून का कोई ऐसा ना बनाने से उसका कोई बेनिफिट है क्योंकि वो तो फिर भी है प्राकृतिक अगर हम समझ रहे हैं वो तो फिर भी हो रहा है पर्दे के पीछे बस समाज के सामने लाने से हम डर रहे हैं शायद जी सर आई Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. When the law will come, the rejection will become little less. Okay, sir. Thank you, everyone. Good night. सर फीडबैक लिंक बेहतर से भेज दीजिए मैं भर नहीं पाया हूँ और नेटवर्क की समस्याएं थी मेरे तरफ थोड़ा 